Welcome to Electra Online. Even though there are very strong visual relationships between the XY axis and between the real and imaginary axis, there's some real differences between the two. Let's go to something that we may be more familiar with, the XY axis. This is a representation of a plane. We can pick a particular point on the plane, 3, 2. That means that the X corner of that point is equal to 3. The Y corner of that point is equal to 2. And so that point is represented by two real numbers, a real number that represents the X distance away from the origin, another real number that represents the Y distance away from the origin. And so that point is then defined by two real numbers in the XY plane. When we look at the real axis and the imaginary axis, those are two axes that represent numbers. The horizontal axis of the real axis represents all the real numbers, and then the vertical axis, the imaginary axis, represents the imaginary part of any number. Now, if we're purely on the axis, on the vertical axis, there's no real part of the number, only an imaginary part. Like this number is negative i, that number is i, that number is 2i, that number is 3i, and only where the two axes cross, the imaginary number 0 is equal to the real number 0, and that makes sense. Now let's pick a point, the point 3 plus 2i, that has a real part to it and it has an imaginary part to it. This is the representation of a single number with a real part and an imaginary part. The real part is 3, the imaginary part is 2i. Yes, it is a distance of 3 units away from the origin on the real axis, and yes, it's a distance of 2 units away from the origin to the point on the vertical axis, or maybe we should say it's 2i units away, although that's kind of weird to say that. It's probably better to say it's 2 units away from the origin, and that imaginary part is called 2i, where i, of course we can't forget the definition of i, where i is defined as the square root of negative 1. So we can't lose track of that. But notice there's some very big difference between the two. This simply represents a point on an xy plane, a two-dimensional plane, the Cartesian coordinate system as we might call it, which has two numbers representing the, the location on that xy plane. Both of these numbers are real numbers. Here we have a single number represented by a real part and an imaginary part, and so you can see there's definitely a real difference between those two. Graphically, the approach seems to be about the same, but they have very different meanings, and so we can't forget about that. That's how it's done.